you? What is the sex of the baby? <laughs> they refuse to tell me. By the time I complain the second time, they say it's a girl. You need to shout, you need to see me shout, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> hey guys, welcome and welcome back again to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. Okay. <laughs> so guys, uh, this is my first story time on this channel uh according to the title you will know i don't know what particular title to give it it's how god prevented my my unborn daughter from surgery or what we heard from the doctor that doubles our faith in god and i hope this story encourages someone out there i hope it, it um, motivates someone not to give up on god okay this is a, uh, actually it's a testimony uh plus story time my daughter the birth of my daughter the untold story because most people uh, except my family member few few not all my hubby my few family member that knew about this and i want to use this opportunity to share this testimony share this story so that you your faith in god will increase so watch to the end do not skip okay don't skip watch to the end and um all right how do i start because this is my first story time i don't know how really how people do story time but i hope it's uh interesting to you and i hope it um motivates you okay so guys i used to hear about lots of people about their pregnancy challenges some who have vomiting excessive vomiting even to the extent of going to the hospital some will have uh, bleeding some will have swollen legs this and that i was like i can't relate to that guys i i'm not lying i cannot relate to those symptoms because two of my pregnancies almost all my pregnancies they are all no i i never had vomiting you know this thing you know i wanted to experience this vomiting guys at the extent that when i'm brushing my teeth i'll be putting um my brush inside my tongue whether to see if i can vomit i want to feel how it looks i don't know how silly it is guys i want to feel how it is vomiting during pregnancy i never had that symptoms i never had my leg was never swelling the only thing i will attach one of if i see one of my pregnancy video because it's four years back i will be attaching it to you guys you see how i was looking this one that people said pregnancy will humble you pregnancy did not humble me i was okay even walking <laughs> even my second son my second son i was pregnant for my second son and i was writing my final exam in uni here in india i was writing my final nursing exams so to so imagine how agile is it agile, how energetic i was i never has any all these symptoms that people complain when, so when people complain about how their symptoms are how <sighs> breathe and talk slowly <laughs> so when people complain about their symptoms in pregnancy i would say wow i'm so lucky i'm so blessed and i keep on thanking god it's not my, my power so don't get me wrong not that i'm boasting okay i'm just glorifying what god has done to me i watch a lot of people videos when they will say oh their pregnancy really uh have a bad turn on them i would say wow what how lucky i was during my pregnancies not until my daughter's birthday um my daughter sorry my daughter's pregnancy <laughs> you know guys why i'm sharing this we just celebrated her four years birthday yes you guys if you haven't checked out that vlog please check it out support the channel okay um i'll just share this story how god prevented my unborn daughter from be uh from surgery and uh cancel the surgery instantly so watch to the end okay how many times will i say it <laughs> so guys i you know um during um 16 weeks to 25 weeks there are this uh, series of tests triple marker tests i don't know if they do it in your country so tell me in the comment section if you also uh, do it in any country you're watching me from so here in india they do the test level one and level two uh level one i think is done with 16 weeks correct me if i'm if i'm wrong just correct me in the comment section 16 weeks they do level one and level two uh, they do around 25 weeks of your pregnancy of your gestation so i did my level one for my daughter's pregnancy it was okay it was okay level one reaching level two hmm reaching level two 
what I heard, what the doctor told us, they made our faith to double in God. And we keep on believing God. We said, ah, okay, let me share it. First of all, um, you know, in uh, level one, the, the, the scream, all the, the levels, triple marker test. In case you're pregnant, and you haven't done this test, it's, it's important to do it. It tells you about any birth defect, genital uh, disorder. So I'm just sharing my experience with you guys. So in case you're pregnant, you're watching, or you know someone who is pregnant, just ask the person if he has done that test in the country they are, if they are doing the test. Level one, it, it's uh, matana syrup, serum something. They, do, they test it with blood. And uh, it's triple maca test. They call it triple maca test. They call it here in India. So, guys, hmm, I did my level one. Oh, it was okay. Level two, hmm, we begin to hear story from the doctor. Uh, the doctor told us that uh, tri uh, trimazon, I'll write on all the things I'm saying. I'll be writing it on the screen in case I pronounce it wrongly. You can check it and see. Trimazon, uh, trimazon 21. I'll be writing okay, like I said. I did that. That one is specifically for bed, any congenital uh, defeat or any uh, genital defeat. So we did that on uh, my, my pregnancy. Me, okay. As we did that, they told us, I'll be sharing the report on the screen with you, with Arrow, so that you see what I'm saying. My first pregnancy was okay. Second was okay. I, like I said, though, this is my third pregnancy. The, the marker was slightly high, which means they told us, the doctor said that my do, uh, the pregnancy is likely to have Down syndrome. Hey! Hmm! And coupled with the fact I'm a, I'm a nursing student then, okay, not then, I wasn't there, I'll think, coupled with the fact that I did my nursing, I know the um, indications of um, Down syndromes, like uh, family history plays a very important role, age play important role, and some other um, uh, conditions that causes Down syndrome. So coupled with the fact that I'm in, uh, I'm in medical field, I said, how? I'm not an indication of Down syndrome. My age, I was even in my middle 20. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not over, I'm not even 30 then. How come that my, um, how come I'm having Down syndrome? I don't have it in my family history. My husband don't have it in his family history. And all that of the medical conditions, my BPs are fine. My blood pressures are okay. Everything, like I said, is, was, was okay. So how did I have Down syndrome? That was how it is. So. <laughs> okay, that was it. Uh, so guys, another test I did um, around 25 weeks of pregnancy said that I have subtype palatitis. I'll be writing it on the screen. And, uh, and this condition happens in 1% of every pregnancies. And it's both common in male, male, ch uh, male child. That is the kidneys, both kidney became of an unborn child, became swollen, became enlarged. That's what uh, subfertilized pilotized six it's it means so you can check it out so being a medical uh, in field i know uh, that it happens in one percent of pregnancies and it's both in common in male and what it means but i never imagined that the dog to hear that from my side i never imagined that i will hear such a thing hey, hey, hey. guys me and my hobby became so scared that how how can it be that how Prayer becomes our morning, afternoon, and night routine. We begin to ask God that we, we commit it. If it's, you need to see us how we double our faith, we ask God that it's and see, yeah, guys, the fact that the fact that they said it's common in male, and I already have two boys, and I've been, I was praying for a girl, seriously praying for a girl, because for, um, coupled with the fact that here in India, they don't do pre, uh, prenatal uh, screening, that they don't tell the gender of the child here in India, it is strictly prohibited under the law, you can't tell the sex of the child, so coupled with that fact, I have two boys already, <laughs> guys, are you getting the story, I have two boys already, and I, I said I don't want a boy, uh, we want two boys, 
one girl. That was the initial what we asked God from the beginning of our marriage. And guys, when they say that this is common in male, hey, my heart boom, 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 increase. <laughs> increase more. I said, God, I'm asking you for a girl. I know you will give to me a girl. And see, with all our prayers changes from, shift from that to this, we became, um, me and my husband, we were praying. We said, God, you are the one who gave us this child. And we don't know what kind of sickness. It has not happened to us. We don't know where it is coming from. It's not in our family lineage. The prayer we prayed doubled our faith in God. Hey, hold and behold, guys. Hmm. So, guys, this is the story, the story stroke testimony. Are you seeing how it is? How miraculous God is. Hmm. So, guys, this condition made us that believe in God, that God will change it for us. Because we don't know the gender of our child. And they say it's a girl, it's common in boy. And it's happening one percent of every pregnancy. So, how? How? This was what we were asking God. God changed our story. God changed this thing. We don't want it. This is not how... See, that's why if you're praying, be specific of what you want. Yes. Be specific of what you want. Use the Bible, the promises of God, God has given to us, that he will give us a blessed child, that he will make our children healthy. So this is not acceptable. For me and my husband, we say this is not acceptable. We begin to pray and we did the first. So, second. guys, I'm good at keeping things. I'm good at keeping documents. I will not call this a document because I I reserve this for testimony or stories like this. That's why I, I left this this ultrasound stories. I'll be sharing it with you on the screen. This was the, the test we did. And here, this was the first test we did that said that the doctor told us. And we went again ahead and we were praying still we did the second test this is another second test this this is an, another second test and guys behold in my uh, around 35 36 weeks pregnancy we did the final test because we keep on telling the doctor it is not a portion this thing you're saying our child is still inside our our my stomach it's still inside belly we can't have born we can't bring out a child and start doing surgery because the doctor told us that once a baby is born there might be chances of having the child do surgery or it might be corrected in the womb it might be corrected so we stick to the fact that he said it might be corrected it might reduce we stick to that fact and we keep on praying with so guys whole and behold this was our final result at um around 36 weeks we did the finance um final test and that was how god canceled the surgery my daughter see i know i'm saying my daughter my daughter during then i never knew the sex of this child i already told you it's prohibited here to do the sex of the child so i'm just saying my daughter my daughter so because she's a girl i mean she's born now she's four years now so that was at six weeks we did the test and everything was clear this was it at 36 weeks everything see how god is you see how mighty this god is this was how he canceled the surgery and even the doctors was wow that they know it's a rare case that it might be corrected but they never imagine it to be this call this so soon okay are you getting it so that was how god canceled the surgery for my Presence and the baby is okay. Okay, and this uh, my daughter, her pregnancy was challenging. Not the challenging in symptoms, but challenging in our faith, our faith with God. Yes. So um, um reaching 37, 38 weeks for the baby to be born. The baby, my daughter refused to come down. She refused to come down. <laughs> so her, um, they, then they said my uh, liquid. There is the, you guys know this liquid that is in placenta liquid or liquid. 
uh, became more for the gestation. They have average, they have normal, they have small. The, it became more for the gestation, number one. Now she refused to come, the hair refused to come down. It was lying oblique, number two. You see how challenging it was. So reaching 38 weeks, that going to 39 weeks, and close to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the date that they gave to us, <sighs> they asked us to go for operation. And we said, okay, fine. And because I have no um, objection, I have no, uh, what is it called? These people that have this mindset that uh, cesarean section is bad for the health, for the, no, my husband was okay, I was okay, he just signed the baby paper he said as long as he and his child his wife and his child they're okay he's fine so that was how they delivered we i booked for the date the date was 6 um 13 june and i was saying if if i knew that it was going to be a, a cesarean section my son is june you guys know my son is 11 june i'm 11 june so i was saying if i knew that is it was going to be cesarean section that we are going to have i should have fixed it in my date or my son's date i should have booked it like select the dates choose one of these dates but i was saying no 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 we were because everything was fine we thought it would be no, uh, normal but since the um the baby head refused to come down at that particular weeks we decided to choose cesarean section which was on 13th june so guys the delivery day after the operation uh they have done the cesarean, cesarean section <laughs> guys you know what happened in the theater I shake everywhere. The baby was out. My princess was out. Because you know, I was praying for princess. I was hardly praying for a baby girl. So the baby was out. And you know what? They refused to tell me the sex of the baby. They think maybe they tell me I'll be sad or you know why they don't tell the sex of the baby. I was shouting, Doctor, please someone that they operated on see how perfect God is. I was so fine. Okay. I was saying, please tell me what is the sex of the baby. <laughs> they refused to tell me. By the time I complained the second time, they say it's a girl. You need to shout. You need to see me shout. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you need to. When they were telling my husband and my husband was telling everybody, they were, it was kind of a drama. You need to shout. See me. If I, if if even if it was if if it was not operation i was doing i could have raised my leg but i just did like thank you jesus and people that was there the all the styles the medical styles the doctors they were they burst into laughing they were laughing <laughs> they were laughing at me and they would be wondering because here yeah, they would be wondering why am i shouting thank you jesus for a girl you know so that was how the birth of our that was the testimony around the birth of our baby girl i hope this story interests you and i hope this story encourages you that to keep on believing in god one never be, never give up i know sometimes we pray and pray for one thing and it, it never comes the way we expect but don't give up do not give up keep on praying keep on reminding god the promises he has in your life okay this is a story and this is a testimony at the same time so i hope you enjoyed this testimony i want you to do something for me type in excuse me type in the comment section thank you jesus okay but and <sighs> i hope you enjoyed this story okay i don't want this video to be so long and uh thank you so much thank you so much for watching and uh, my girl i'm super happy for my princess oh i forgot to tell you and that's why her dad named her chi amaka chi amaka means god is good her name is sophia her name is chi amaka her name is adana adana means adana is uh father's daughter that means our father in heaven it is also our father in heaven's daughter it is chi amaka which means god is good god is beautiful god is wonderful god is marvelous anything you want to use use it okay that's the name of our baby girl's name all right i'm super excited to share this testimony with you guys i'm super happy to encourage someone out there okay and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up 
the video, thumbs up the video, so that it will reach to people that need to their faith to be strong in God, that that are doubting God, so that their faith in God will double, just like how my own became double. Okay, all right. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share and comment. Okay, if you have watched up to this moment say thank you jesus all right and you can say god is wonderful or anything you want to comment you're free to comment anything you want to be you're free to say all right guys i'll see you in my next and upcoming video so till then Mwah.